window, no cracker broken. Seal intact. Door open and closed freely. Window, no cracker broken. Bracket secure. Mirror, no cracker broken. Hood latch, no cracker. DEF cup, secure, no leaky. Mechanic step in place, flat mat in place and secure. Bracket, secure. Mirror, no cracker broken. No physical damage. Antenna in place. All lenses, no crack or broken. A school bus, no missing letters with the reflector tail around. Windshield, no crack or broken with the inspection ticket of today. Windshield wipes, secure, no missing part. Hood secure, real secure with four screw. Play secure, play secure with two screw, bumper secure. Under the bus, nothing leaking, nothing hanging, no leaning right or left. Bracket secure. Mirror, no crack or broken. Hood lens, secure, no crack it. Window, no crack or broken. Bracket secure. Mirror, no crack or broken. Mechanic step in place, flat button in place. Now we're gonna check inside here. All wires and hoses, no cracker, no frayed, no leaking. Full and cuff secure, so be full lever, L filter secure. The fan, no missing blade. Water pump, cup secure, so be full lever. Winter water. Winter water. Cup secure and two be full lever. Serpentine bell, don't play more than three quarter inch, run with alternator, air compressor, power seating pump and water pump. Main frame, no cut, no well, no drill. Leaf spring, U-ball and charcoal, no missing part. Shock absorber, no liquid. Brake line and brake chamber, no liquid. Slug adjuster, don't play more than one inch with uh, caterpillar in place. If I can see the brake shoes, no less than quarantine. The wall of the tire, no cut, no bubbles. The tray is 432, 105 PSI. Cannot be recap, even if worn. The wall of the tire, no cut, no bubbles. The ring, no cracker, no wells. All are no tie and secure. Hot cup, tie and secure, no leaky. Air bell, the tray and cup. Very good. All wires and horses. No cracking. No liquid. No freight. Motor cup. Secure. Transmission diff stick and all these sticks secure should be above the line. Electric panel. Secure. Hot cup. Power steering. Secure. Should be full level. Power, uh, as a power steering column. No missing part. Power steering box, no leaky. Pigment arm and drag lean, no missing part with caterpillar in place. Shock absorber, no leaky. Main frame, no cracker, no well, no drill. Leaf spring, shako and yubo, no missing part. Brake line, brake chamber, no leaky. It's lock adjuster, don't play more than one inch. If I can see the brake shoes, no less than quarter thing. The wall of the tire, no cracker, no, cracker, no bubble. The tray is 432, cannot be recovered when it won 105 PSI. The wall of the tire, no cracker, no wall goes. Free, no cracker, no walls. All lot, no tie and secure. Hand cup, tie and secure, no liquid, or valve, tray and cup. Good, you're good, doing good. This is a trick, trick, it's special. Outside. All lenses and reflector, no crack or broken. All emergency exit visible with the reflector tail around. All window, no crack or broken. All window stopping place. 
the window can't go down more than five inches. No missing letters, no missing number, including USDOT 35440Cs. Under the bus, the opposite tighter, no crack and no bubbles. Exhaust spy, no home, property mounting. Dry shelf with four U Uvo in parts, no hole, property mounting. The braid chamber, property mounting. Leaf spring and charcoal, no missing part. If I can see the braid shoes, no less than quarter thing. The tray is 242, 95 PSI, the pressure. Can be recapped, no mismatch, even if worn. If I can see between the tire, nothing in the mirror, the ring have to be a straight. The wall of the tire, no cracker, no bubbles. The ring, no cracker, no walls. All of no tie and secure, hot cup tie and secure. The air valve, in and outer, straight and cup. The flat mass secure. Opposite window stop in place. In the back of the bus. All lenses and reflector, no cracker. No cracker. No broker. All lens and reflector, no cracker. Uh, no damage. A school bus visible. No missing letter with the reflector tear around. All window, no cracker broken. Emergency door visible with the reflector tape around. No missing letter or number. Place secure. Bumper secure. But tail can go out. Can't go out more than two inches. Under the bus. The fuel tank no liquid. The frame around secure. No missing part. The suspension. Property mounting. The boots don't leak it, no hanging, nothing, no leaning right or left. All emergency exits visible, no missing letter. With the reflector tail around, all lenses and reflector, no crack or broken. All window, no crack or broken. All window stop in place. The window can go down more than five inches. No missing letter, no missing number. The fuel tank up, secure, no leaky. Flat mat in place and secure. Deep spring and charcoal, no missing part. If I can see the brake shoes, nothing. If I can see the brake shoes, no less than quite a thing. The tray is 242, 95 PSI. Can be recapped, no mismatch, even in work. Nothing between the tire, if I can see, the ring have to be straight. The wall of the tire, no cracking of bubbles. The ring, no cracking of wells, or lock, no tire and secure. A cup, tire and secure, no leaky. Air ball, straight and cup, in and outer. The opposite tire, no cracking of bubbles. Now I can see better, the exhaust pipe here, no hole, it's property mounting. No missing letter, no missing number, no standing. Capacity 78, USDOT 35440 The opposite window stop in place. Now this is the first part of the pre-tree. Three. three point contact. At the beginning of the video, he already mentioned the emergency equipment, body fluid, face aid, and three reflected triangle. Fire extinguisher up to date, secure needles on the green with the pink. That's your emergency equipment. I also mentioned the, the cabin, everything is properly yeah. mounting, so secure, fan, sonar, everything properly mounting and secure, nothing broken. Just my seat, my mirror. We're gonna start the first part of the air brake. 
The first thing is check that I have 125 PSI. And I have it. I have full tank. Very good. The second part, check the ABS light is on and off. If the bus keep with the ABS on, the bus is out service. This, the, now I'm going to check the neutral safety switch. I put my bus in lower gear. I'm going to start to run the bus two times. One. Two. Neutral safety switch is working. Now I'm going to check the air loose. I can lose more than 3 PSI in one minute after my initial drop. Can I lose more than 3 PSI in one minute? Can I? Can, can't. Oh, okay, can't. Got it. <laughs> After my initial drop, my needle is around 110. I'm gonna start to counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 58, 60. After one minute, my needle is still there around 110. The boss not lose 3 PSI in one minute. The boss don't lose more than 3 PSI in one minute. Now, I'm going to check the warning line come out around 55 to 60. Now, start pumping. The lower gear, the low air is on around 55 PSI. Now, the parking brake pull up, the spring brake. Napa spring brake. The spring brake pull out around 20 to 40. One, two, is working properly. What now, pressure you have? Now I have 25 PSI. Very good. Now I'm gonna start the bus to recharge the pressure to rebuild the pressure to rebuild the pressure while I'm gonna check all my switcher back light on and off is working heater pump working mirror heat working fan low and high working my other fan low and high is working A step heater, low and high is working. Middle heater, low and high is working. Back heater, low and high is working. My driver light is working. My mirror adjustment is working. The water pump and windshield is working, low and high. The frost is working, low and high. Radio is working. Now I'm gonna check my needles. The oil should be around 30 to 60. The water should be around 100 to 210. The fuel gauge. My fuel no less than half. Now it's recorder. The DEF no less than two bar. Now it's full. The battery voltage should be around 12 to 14. Now it's 14. The pressure is charging. It's 125. Wait for the governor to cut up. Mm -hmm. 125 PS, your governor cut up. Meanwhile, you can adjust your mirror. 
Yo Mero. It's already adjusted. I adjusted at the beginning. So now you're just waiting for the, the governor to cut off in you know, a 125. Now the governor cut out. Now I'm gonna start. You gotta take the bus off and then you need to be outside to remove the shot. Three point contact. Now we're gonna start the second part of the air brake test, TPS, transmission, parking brake and service brake. The first thing, push the bus in lower gear. I'm going to accelerate the bus between 1,000 to 1,500 for five seconds. And the bus should not move. One, two, three, four, five. Parking brake is working. Now I'm gonna check the transmission. The lower gear, lock no noise. Second, lock no noise. Third, lock no noise. Drive, lock no noise. Mutra, lock no noise. Now for reverse, first we need to check the mirror. All of one, all of them. Now put the hazard light. Twice the horn is working. Now put the reverse. The reverse working. I had the beeper. Now for brake light and back light, I need a system of reflection. Now I'm gonna put the bus in lower gear. I'm going to move the bus five to six feet. No six to eight feet. Five to to eight, six to eight feet. Six to eight feet. Six, oh, five miles per hour. For no more than five miles per hour. Service brake working. The bus not leaning right or left. My wheel don't move more than two inches right or left. Now. I'm gonna check amber light. Amber light is working in Elmo. Also, I check my amber light is working in my crossover mirror. Also, I'm gonna turn on my hustle light. It's working, I see it in my mirror. I'm gonna check also in the bath. I'm gonna make the inside inspection, the boost. All emergency exits no missing letter. The emergency door in the back. No, no, no missing letters. It's visible. All window stop. Both side is in place. The ceiling. No physical damage. No missing screw. The aisle is clear. No missing screw. Now I'm gonna check. All seat. The top. I'm, I'm gonna open each window with my weakened hand. It's secure, 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 secure. Emergency exit, open and close freely. And I have the beeper. Emergency exit window, open and close freely. And I have the
the beeper. Secure. 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 Emergency exit window. Open and close freely. And I had the beeper. The other emergency window open and close freely. And I had the beeper. Secure. 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 Emergency exit. Open and close freely. Amber light, hazard light, LED light is working. Emergency door in the back is working and I had the beeper. Now I'm gonna check the bottom of the seat. Secure, 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 secure. Now, I'm gonna turn on my SOS light. The stop sign is working, it's out. Almo is working. SOS, SOS light are, are working. I sit in my crossover. Also, my crossing gate arm is out, it's working. I'm gonna open the door. The door is already open and everything is still working. A stop sign, Elmo, SOS light, and crossing gate arm is working. Now I'm gonna close the door using override or bypass. The door is already closed and everything is still working. Crossing gate, SOS light are working. Elmo is working and stop sign is working. Now I'm going to consult override. Override is working and everything is canceled. Now I'm gonna <clears throat> put my high beam light and left torque signal light is working my screen and I'm gonna check outside. Three point contact. A step light is working. All three lights working. light working. SS light lights working. High beam light working. Parking lights working. Less signal light working. After my airplane case. Nothing needed or hanging on the bus. Battery compartment. It's secure. No corruption. The earth is working. The train. Secure. No corruption. SOS lights working, left signal lights working, parking lights working, cell lights working, play lights working. The door open and lock. Nothing between the heater, nothing in the aisle. 
the seal is intact around the door. The door opened and closed freely and I had the beeper. Under the bus, nothing leaky, nothing hanging, no leaning right or left. Now I'm gonna put my light right towards in and, and low beam light. Point contact. No big light is working. My signal light is working. My signal light is working. My signal light is working. Yellow and one way light is working. My signal light is working. It's working. Everything is cancelled. Now, this is how, how I do my pre treat If I find any defect, I put in my DVR book. And at the end of my row, I have to check for a sleepy child. Now, I'm going to check for a sleepy child. Turn off the box. Put on the left. Now, I'm going to do a chow check, mate. How you disactivate a child check mate? Or switch for sleeping children? Child check mate is now deactivated. There you go. That's it.